Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest update that was applied to the Windows subsystem for Android and Windows 11 on the dev channel. So starting with the build 25,120, Microsoft introduced a new big update to the Windows subsystem for Android. This is the version 2204, and this includes several new features and improvements. And of course, in this video, we're going to talk about everything that is new and what you can expect if, of course, you are using the Windows subsystem for Android. Android or testing out Android apps or using the Play Store on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you like these videos where you talk about new Windows 11 updates or certain updates to certain apps in Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by JoyoShare Vidai Kit. JoyoShare Vidai Kit is a video editor that combines video cutter, screen recorder, converter, and more. With JoyoShare Vidai Kit, you can cut, merge, convert, and compress videos fast, record screen and audio simultaneously, and you have access to a powerful editor to repair, watermark, subtitle, and more. In the recording section, you can choose from the screen recorder and audio recorder. The screen recorder has a simple and intuitive interface with all the needed settings that you can customize. Once the recording is finished, have easy access to simple edits through the software. Download JoyoShare Vidai Kit from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. So let's begin talking about the Windows subsystem for Android. First of all, if you don't know what the Windows subsystem for Android is, or you don't know how to install it, well, I have many videos created on this channel about that. So you can go ahead and search for them on the channel. But of course, I'm going to leave you in the description down below an article from the website in which I show you the introduction to this, how to install it and so on and so forth. So I think the info that you'll find in the description will be really useful. The first big thing about the Windows subsystem for Android is that Microsoft updated to Android 12.1. So Microsoft updated the experience to Android 12.1 and this update may cause some apps to fail to launch. And of course, you'll have to check out the article down below in the description for known issues and for certain apps that won't launch after this update to Android 12.1. With this update, telemetry collection optional diagnostic data setting in the Windows system for Android setting app is now off by default. But Microsoft is recommending us to turn it on because that will help them make Windows subsystem for Android better and provide useful telemetry about Android app usage and so on and so forth. Also, Microsoft is introducing advanced networking. Networking for Windows Subsystem for Android on newer Windows Insider preview builds, for example, the OS build 22621 plus, have been improved to enable Android apps to connect to devices on the same network as your Windows PC. With advanced networking, you can play your favorite content on a speaker on the same network or set up a security camera or other smart home device with a compatible Android app. This is huge and I think this will bring a lot of useful things and features to the Android integration with Windows 11. If you didn't notice yet, we have a settings app redesign. As you can see, the settings app looks pretty nice now. It has some sections in the left side and we also have some nice rounded corners on the center with a whole bunch of other settings. The app has now clearer setting groups, group navigation, and an all-round cleaner user interface. Microsoft also added a diagnostic data viewer where you can examine all the diagnostic data collected by the subsystem and configuration options in the new compatibility settings to turn on fixes for specific apps such as forcing apps to be non sizable or enabling swipes for arrow keys which is really really nice and as you can see the developer mode has been moved to the developer section and we also have an about section where you can see the newest build and more info about the app also microsoft made some improvements to windows integration windows taskbar icons will now show which Android apps are currently using the microphone, location, and other system services in the system tray, and an auto-hidden taskbar will now correctly hide slash show when Android apps are running. Android toasts will now be reflected as Windows notifications, and the Windows title of an Android apps will now reflect the Android activity title. For newer Windows 11 Insider preview builds, Android apps will not be restarted when newer devices come out of connected standby, but will instead pick up where you left off. Also, Microsoft made improvements 
performance to camera and Android apps. Many camera updates are being shipped in this update, so the camera orientation is now fixed to natural orientation, and issues with incorrect camera preview, bugs with letterboxing, and squishing of the camera feed have now been addressed. And we also have some improvements for input devices. Mouse and keyboard support in Windows Subsystem for Android has been improved, with fixes such as improved scroll wheel support, fixes for the on-screen keyboard focus, and fixes for the Android software keyboard displaying correctly. Basically, these are the most important changes and updates to the Windows Subsystem for Android. And of course, I cannot wait to test out these features, these new features that were applied, and also these changes and fixes. But if you want to see the full change log and also the known issues, make sure to check out the article down below in the description where we'll see the whole list and also links to the official Microsoft blog where you can see more information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.